Hi, I'm Ella Feingold. I'm an orchestrator. I hope that you're doing really, really well today. Um, we are going to continue with another Bernard Herrmann brass scoring tip. Uh, this one is about um, muted horns coloring open horns and muted meaning fiber mute, cardboard mute, wooden mute, which are all in the same tone color rather than um, a metal stopped mute. So I'm not going to say the name of the movie because I don't know what happens with copyright if I say the name. So this is the name of the movie here. Uh, it's a wonderful recording with William Stromberg, who's a um, Bernard Herrmann scholar. Um, definitely look him up. Um, and so the name of this particular cue is um, called Retreat. So I'm just going to play the opening two bars. Cool. So um, what we have going on here is, and this is in concert, not transposed. Um, so we have um, horns that are open, and then we have the same exact triad, horns fiber mute, which are coloring the open horns. And then we have horns um, with the same voicing, just an octave below. So the reason this is a cool tip, and the reason I like doing this, is it um, the fiber mutes give the open horns um, more of an aggressive sound. Um, they EQ it in a way because fiber mutes, um, you know, you're, when you're putting in a mute, it doesn't mean you're making the sound quieter. It's like an EQ in a way. And so with fiber mutes to my ear, it takes away some of the body. It makes it a lot more woodwind-like. Um, and, you know, this may mean something different to Bernard Herrmann. He may be using fiber mutes because he's orchestrating for the microphone. And to him, using a mute to color an open horn is perhaps a way to get a certain EQ that he wants. To me, the reason I love using fiber mutes with open horns, especially not at crazy, crazy loud dynamics, is it can sort of give a, um, a more aggressive sound at quieter dynamics. At pianissimo, you're going to get, if you use open, um, uh, excuse me, fiber muted horns at pianissimo, and especially by themselves, to me, you get much more of this like alto bass flute, you know, mysterious kind of color. But, you know, with a sforzato and um, forte and whatnot, you just get more of this um, aggressive sound without the open horns needing to play, you know, cuivre and incredibly brassy. And so to me, that's why I like to color open horns. Um, if you think about it, you know, open horns are something that can be very warm and uh, regal and whatever. And so by muting something that's open, you're basically um, you're taking away from the um, the regalness of it. You know, you're you're coloring it, and you're taking something that's noble, and I guess making it a little bit less noble. Um, I like to kind of try and relate to people in all different ways. So if you're a guitar player, um, for example. You could look at this as open horns or sort of a clean tone on the guitar. And I'm a guitar player, by the way. Um, and fiber mutes are like an overdrive pedal to my ears. And metal mutes or hand stop to me is more distortion. So it's, it's like combining, you know, clean overdrive and distortion and coloring things. Um, so if that tip's helpful, that's sort of a way to think about um, mutes at times. So um, this is probably overkill here, but I have um, a wonderful library called Modern Scoring Brass. And so I'm just going to move my big head here. Um, <laughs> the all-knowing floating head. So um, so right now, this is, I want to just play you the horns open by themselves here. That's at the quietest dynamic and loud. And 
And um, unfortunately, I think it's picking up the open trumpet, the muted trumpet in Sibelius. Um, and then if I were to solo the muted horns here. So you can just hear that it puts more, you know, dirt on the sound. Um, so that is, you know, the tip. Um, I hope it's helpful. Uh, it's something I love to do. Um, obviously you need something open and something um, fiber muted. So if you're gonna be doing four part harmony, obviously you need a whole gang of horns to do that. So this can work great even on unison um, things. The other thing I wanted to just kind of offer up as a tip, just sort of something that I've personally noticed, um, is a lot of composers or directors are not really into muted brass. This is just my um, experience as a working orchestrator. And what I find is the only way that I'm able to sort of get away with using muted brass is to just have one or two of them coloring something that's open. Like it's just enough to make something a little more aggressive without committing to the muted brass sound. Um, I don't know why that is, but just a little, you know, tidbit I would just sort of offer up as something I've noticed. So I tend to, in my orchestration for other composers, if I'm going to go muted, and I'm not sure if they're going to approve it, I tend to just color things very slightly rather than, you know, eight horns playing with fiber mutes or metal mutes. I'll typically be mixing open with something muted all the time. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, stay weird, be kind, remember to love yourself and each other, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.